Hi, I'm Dr. Anirudh Malpani. I'm an IVF specialist at Malpani Infertility Clinic. Our website is www.drmalpani.com and today I'm going to talk to you about vaginal ultrasounds. Vaginal ultrasounds are the most commonly utilized clinical tool for an IVF specialist during an IVF cycle and I'm going to explain to you why. The machine looks a little bit scary, I understand that, you don't really need to worry too much about this. The most important thing of course is the screen, which is what we're doing when we are looking at what's happening inside you. This is called a transvaginal ultrasound or a TV ultrasound and I'll explain to you what we do. This is what a transvaginal probe looks like. I know it's pretty scary, you say, oh God, the doctor's going to put this inside my vagina and some patients call it a transvaginal wand. And I agree with you, it looks scary, but I promise you it's not painful at all. There is absolutely no reason why a vaginal ultrasound should hurt at all, unless the doctor is clumsy or doesn't really care. How we do the ultrasound, I'll explain to you in a minute. But think of the TV actually is like a TV of the inside of what's happening inside your body. So it's your personal TV channel, the personal TV channel for you, for your reproductive tract. And when we do a vaginal ultrasound, as I said before, we put it through the vagina so we cover it why do we cover it for two reasons one is we use a sterile covering usually you could just use a sterile condom that's good enough that's to make sure that there is no infection being transmitted from one patient to another and you could ask the nurse to actually put this in front of you so you're confident that they're doing it properly and equally importantly we need to use a jelly this jelly is important can you show me that the jelly is actually a bit like toothpaste so we put the jelly on top of this little probe because it then transmits the sound waves and these transmit the sound waves will then actually go inside and we'll then be able to visualize what's happening. What are the things we're looking at in an IVF cycle? We do the ultrasound scan before the IVF cycle and during the IVF cycle. And that's what I need to explain to you. Before the IVF cycle, it gives us valuable diagnostic information. Predominantly, we're looking for just two things. So don't overcomplicate it. One is the uterus and the second is the ovaries. The uterus, of course, is where the embryo grows. So we check to make sure your uterus is fine. If you have fibroids, if you have polyps in the endometrium. Uh, most of the time, the uterus, as I keep on emphasizing, is pretty passive. And as long as your endometrium is growing and it's thick in trilamina, that's fine. And that we can check when we're actually doing the ultrasound scans for you. Of course, what the endometrium look like depends to a large extent on which day of the cycle we do your ultrasound scans. Now, along with the uterus, we also check the ovaries. Before we actually start your treatment, when we do a scan, the most important thing is looking for the antral follicle count, which means how many follicles does your ovary have. This measures your ovarian reserve, which is also measured by your AMH level, and gives us some idea about how many dose of injections we require to help you superolate. It gives us an idea of what your ovarian response is going to be. So that when we do a pre-IVF ultrasound, we usually do it at two times. One is on day two, three or four, which allows us to check the antral follicle count and make sure there are no cysts in your ovaries. And typically again on day eight, nine or 10, where we check the endometrial thickness or texture. Valuable information, very simple to do, and usually a doctor will do it himself for you in the ultrasound clinic. And then during the IVF cycle, we need to do multiple ultrasound scans. This is important because we do a baseline scan and then when we start your super ovulation, we're checking to make sure that your follicles are growing properly, whether the dose of injections is fine. So usually we give you about five days of super ovulation with either gonalef or menogon or one of these and then after five days, we check whether your follicular size is increased properly or not and we track this on what's called a tracking sheet and this is called follicular tracking. Remember, follicles take time, about one to two millimeters per day to grow. There's no point in doing ultrasound scans more frequently than that. It doesn't provide us useful information. Once your follicles start growing, which is usually five days of injections, then we do scans usually every alternate day to make sure that the growth is adequate. If the growth is too much, we'll cut down the dose. That's course correction. If the growth is not enough, we will increase the dose. And that's what a good IVF specialist does the scans themselves to make sure things are going properly. We will often supplement this if required by doing a blood test called an estradiol level. And usually with about 10 days of super ovulation injections, your follicles are mature about 18 to 20 millimeters, your estrogen levels are fine, your endometrium is thick and trilaminar, and as you think everything is fine, we're ready to give you the trigger shot or the HCG shot and we're ready for the egg collection. 
if you want to find out more about what an ultrasound scan does during an IVF cycle, what the images look like for a super ovulated ovary, for an endometrium which is growing well, please go to our website which is www.drmalfani.com. We've got hundreds of pages of information written specifically for you, for the patient, so that you understand what we're doing and why we're doing it. Because you need to be in control of your IVF cycle. You need to be sure that your doctor is providing you with the right medical care. And we're happy to help. We're happy to prescribe information therapy online and it's completely free. So please visit www.drmalpani.com and if you have more questions, there's a free second opinion form. Fill it up, send me an email and I'm happy to provide even more information. And if with the help of our website, we can help you to have a baby and complete your family, nothing will give me more joy and pleasure because that's the reason I became an IVF specialist in the first place, to help you to have a baby.